The Champions League returns and with just four teams left, the path to glory is wide open. Any of the remaining sides has a chance but equally, question marks surrounding their challenge. Can Liverpool crack Lionel Messi to deny their treble push? And which of this underdogs will prevail in the other semi-final? Here's everything you need to know, from the superheroes and the sidekicks who can decide the ties to the keys for victory. Jump to, Tottenham Ajax, Liverpool Barcelona Tottenham vs. Ajax when, Tuesday April 30th, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. BSTBACKSTORY, Ajax are doing their glorious past pro, having eliminated perennial Serie A champs Juventus and Champions League holders Real Madrid to get into the semi-finals. The quality, freshness and fearlessness displayed in those matches have made them the neutrals favourites. They are tied at the top of the Dutch league and in the Dutch Cup final, so they, too, have treble aspirations. Tottenham have lost more than half the games they have played since Valentine's Day, but they are still hanging on to third place in the Premier League and knocked out mighty Manchester City to get this far. That they're in the final four is remarkable given the rash of injuries they've suffered, most notably to captain Harry Kane, who is out of both legs, and their limited resources. Limited relative to most but not Ajax, in any other season, Spurs would be the Cinderella team at this stage. How they match up, Tottenham are at times perhaps more pragmatic but there's a lot of common ground between the way these two sides play and with the Spurs trio of Toby Alder, Verald, Jan Vertonghen and Christian Eriksen having spent a combined nearly three decades at Ajax at youth and senior level, there will be few surprises. Given Kane's absence and the fact that Ajax's approach changes little home and away, regardless of the opposition's pedigree, you can imagine Spurs exploiting the counterattack, particularly with the fleet-footed Lucas Moura. Tottenham start to watch, Eriksen. He's at a crossroads in many ways. He has yet to extend his contract, which expires in June 2020, suggesting he's open to a summer move. Wouldn't a decisive turn in the Champions League semi-final be the ultimate shop window? He's facing, literally, his past, but he's also the man who can create out of nothing for Tottenham and who may have to carry them, as he's done so many times before. Ajax's star to watch, Frankie de Jong. He epitomizes the modern two-way midfielder, with the added wrinkle that he carries himself with a charisma and a personality far beyond his years. He's making the jump to Barcelona in the summer but very few 21-year-olds have seemed this ready for that kind of quantum leap. X-Factor, Tottenham, Deli Alley. He hasn't put up the gaudy numbers of past seasons, he had 22 goals from midfield in 2016-17 compared to 7 this year, partly because he missed 7 weeks through injury and partly because he has had to reinvent himself as a whole plugging jack of all trades given Spurs many injuries, particularly in the middle. But he has the dynamism and selflessness to match Ajax and if he can keep Ajax from bossing the midfield, he can turn this Tottenham's way. X-Factor, Ajax, David Nairs. At 22, he's still very raw, but his dribbling ability and unpredictability make him a real handful. Within a philosophy that carefully balances the team versus the individual, he can lean towards the latter at times, which may be why he had a bumpy start to the campaign, but that makes him no less valuable over 180 minutes. Tottenham need to find a makeshift midfield combination that can see them through, not easy, given the likely absences of Musa Sissoko and Harry Winks without leaving the initiative to Ajax, while getting Eriksen into positions where he can create. Ajax need to not let the intensity and fearlessness drop simply because Tottenham's pedigree isn't equal to that of their previous Champions League opponents, Juventus, Real Madrid and Bayern, while ensuring the centre-back duo of Daly Blint and Matthijs De Ligt need to do as little open field defending against Lucas Moura as possible. Prediction, Tottenham 2-1 Ajax. Momentum isn't with Tottenham and the midfield is a mystery but they otherwise don't match up badly against Ajax. Liverpool vs. Barcelona play 127 nickel, Liverpool can't man Mark Lionel Messi former Liverpool defender Steve Nickel details how the Reds should approach defending Barcelona's Lionel Messi in the Champions League semi-finals. When, Wednesday 5 over 1, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. BSTBACKSTORY, Barcelona won La Liga on Saturday and will play Valencia in the Spanish Cup final later this month, which means they're still on track for the treble. It would be their third since 2008, which is some achievement when you consider that it had only been achieved three times in the first 40 years of European football.
Liverpool reached the Champions League final last year, of course, but unlike then, when they went out of contention early domestically, they are neck and neck with Manchester City for the Premier League title. They've won 10 games in a row in all competitions and look stronger and more complete than last year. How they match up, it used to be a rarity for a team to score 100 goals in all competitions but Liverpool passed that mark on Saturday and Barcelona did it back in February. Yet while both can, and do, score a plenty, there's a more patient, defensive dimension to what they do as well. Jurgen Klopp only wheels out his, heavy metal, all-out press intermittently and compared to prior incarnations, this spark aside are more safety-oriented in the middle of the park. That fact that both have outstanding goalkeepers in Marc-Andre Ter Stegen and Allison adds another layer of solidity. Barcelona's start to watch, Lionel Messi. He's averaging more than a goal a game, again, while playing an even bigger role than before in terms of dropping deep and creating chances for others. You can find your own superlatives here. Liverpool's start to watch, Virgil van Dijk. Few signings have been as transformative in recent years as the Dutchman's arrival at Anfield in January 2018. A colossus in the air, his work in reading the game and marshalling a back four in which both fullbacks are often attacking at the same time is second to none. X-Factor, Barcelona, Jordi Alba. He has 16 assists in all competitions this year from left back in a nearly supernatural understanding with Lionel Messi who often cuts in from the opposite flank. He'll be up against Trent Alexander-Arnold and Mo Salah, which means Liverpool will need to get a midfielder helping out when he advances. Except they can't overcommit to him, because Messi is on the opposite side, X-Factor, Liverpool, Roberto Firmino. He's a centre-forward who doesn't score that much, he has broken the 20-goal mark just twice in his career, but his prodigious movement and off-the-ball were create more than make up for it. Between Sergio Busquets in midfield and Gerard Piquet at the back, Barcelona won't want to lose sight of him. Barcelona need to dictate the game in midfield and pin back Alexander-Arnold and Andy Robertson, Liverpool's full backs, while denying service to Salah and Sadio Mane, particularly in transition. Liverpool need to be aware of Messi at all times, but particularly when he drops back to create. Ensure the front three don't get isolated, while also maintaining their shape. Prediction, Liverpool 1-2 Barcelona. Two evenly matched sides but one of them has Messi, the other does not.